Welcome back to this week's Monday Moment of Envy. Today we are doing it a little late, sorry about that, but we have plenty of cool things in store, so be patient with us. We know that you guys have been for many, 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 many months, so thanks so much. We're just doing our best. <laughs> yeah, That's honestly. Not easy. Whew. But today we get to think about another awesome image coming from our Facebook group, and today's comes from old time friend Stanley Harper. Hey, Stanley, mm -hmm. you've had a lot of great images come through here, and we keep looking over your weather shots, and the weather shots are awesome, yeah. and we are envious of them, but they just don't have the composition that this image has. I mean, just having a lot more to talk about the image and looking at how you laid everything out makes this one the first image and the one that stands out among the rest as what we can have a moment of envy for. Yeah, so what I was doing is I was going back to the very beginning of our feed, and it's been very hard because there are so many good images like, yeah, especially in the last few months, <laughs> it's like, dang, man, like we've got a really good group and they're doing a lot of awesome photography. You guys are awesome. And I thought, what's at the very, very beginning? You know, what's what's going all the way back? And I wanted to see what it was like, you know, towards the beginning and what, what we could pull out that's from the past that was also really good. Right. And so as we were doing this, we saw this image from Stanley and we thought, wow, we both agreed like, OK, <laughs> yeah. this is worth talking about because this is awesome. And I'd forgotten about this image. And so, yeah, let's pull it up and talk about it. And we look at these images, and when they stand out just instant decision, we know they're right for Monday Moment of Envy. There's a lot of images yeah. that are on the fence, and it's just like, okay, because they're on the fence, they're not a moment of envy. It has to be something that really stands out, and you're looking at this image already, and I hope to you it stands out as much as it stands out for us. I mean, we are loving this shot. Um, what stands out to you first? Then I'll go into the composition stuff. So to me... Um just the overall, I mean, just everything about the image stands out to me, but the colors of the sunset and the reflection of the water just instantly pop. Right. And I mean, who doesn't like a good lighthouse picture? You know, uh, most people do. And it's in um, everyone's heart, for some reason, lighthouses have all of our romance. Yeah, it's really interesting how that, why that is, but it's just something about our past. It's something that's very Western civilization, I guess. Yeah, I I, I've never sure. lived on the coast and experienced lighthouses to be important in my life, and yet still, I've been infatuated with them from a young age. Yeah, I think because there's so many poems and songs and stuff about lighthouses, about how crucial they are <laughs> and were. They were huge. I mean, they were so crucial. Um, I don't know so much now, but if, I think even now. I mean, there's still lots of functioning lighthouses. So anyways, these rocks are amazing. I love the color. That, that the amazing line going right through the rocks, even the, the rocks are different colors. Right yeah, just leading you right to that lighthouse and then getting that reflection up and down. I mean, it's just... It's great. Great image. I mean, you come to this area. You've got a beautiful sunset coming. You can see how this part of the sky, the clouds have disappeared. And I know mm -hmm. Stanley probably had a sky up here that had clouds all throughout it. Yeah. And then yeah. <laughs> as the sunset came, the it's, stupid clouds just kind of faded this direction or some separated and went out of his frame. Yeah, yeah. It's so obnoxious the way the clouds do that to you right before sunset. Ugh. So you got these clouds, you got a great sunset, and you're thinking, okay, I want to get a good shot here. What's going to be my position to get that awesome shot? And Stanley was a genius here. Because you look at the terrain in the background, it's very, very flat. Oh, yeah. I don't know this area. I don't know where it is at. But you could tell that between him and the sunset, there wasn't really anything more interesting than than the lighthouse. No, it looks like there's a little bit of pile of rocks and maybe some stuff back there. Like maybe the harbor bends a little bit before it goes out to sea. Yeah. it looks like trees I and stuff so. and buildings. Mm-hmm. And then you've also got these rocks that if you were standing up here, you know, taking your shot this direction, you've got a leading line towards the lighthouse with the sunset off to this right. So why wouldn't he do that? Well, you think all you end up seeing are the color, the contact, the, con the, the, the texture and the contrast of the rocks and the light. And that's really all you've got in your image. Mm -hmm. But Stanley, he's he, he's a seasoned veteran photographer. He yeah, knows yeah. this yeah. stuff. And he knows that what's far more interesting than just seeing a flat terrain of rocks leading up to a lighthouse and then having a sunset off to the right, he knows that having this shape that is coming off of the ground from the bottom of the composition all the way up here. I mean, look at the rule of thirds. I draw these every week. And you you got to appreciate an image where the rock that has this structure, it gives you some context, mm -hmm. and then all these little rocks, and then they continue on to a vanishing point. 
this shape that comes in here, it isn't just something that has a vanishing point that's interesting and guides you up to this part of the frame, but you have something that's here, this high on the frame, the rock is gonna end this low on the frame, and over here's the water horizon, and so nothing, I mean, nothing is on the same plane. They're all at different spots of your frame. So you have yeah, some yeah. point of interest, some intersection point, something that is drawing your eye at a different height as you go throughout the image. Mm -hmm. And that's a fantastic shape. I mean, if I go back and get rid of all my lines and my little, my little photographer up there, you can look at this image and appreciate the fact that the shape gets bigger towards the right. And so all of this stuff up here that could be distracting is taking up a very small third. It's mm -hmm. not through, if he had it coming all the way out to the middle, it'd be ugly. Too much, yeah. Way too much. Yeah. But because he has it over there and it gets smaller and then guides you to this light, lighthouse, you might think the lighthouse is then no longer featured. It's kind of a tiny little object. Well, in fact, because of that reflection that he made sure he got, the lighthouse becomes an image that takes up a whole two thirds right, of the image right, right. instead of just one yeah. and tiny little lighthouse. And so he played with everything he had and made it magical. And sorry, I just realized my microphone was turned around. That's so that's why, why it was earlier. freaking me out because it sounded like I was <laughs> talking into an empty room. But the mic over there, instead of right here, now it's much better. I just realized. <laughs> Turn it around. So any We're thoughts on that right here? We got the third talk. We got the third where the lighthouse is. And then we have the shape that we talk about breaking planes going vertically sometimes yeah, with yeah. this lighthouse breaking those planes that are vertical planes. But he's got something that is breaking the planes horizontally. It's yeah. coming across. Yeah. And it takes your eye from across this plane to that plane to this plane and then terminates and comes back even. And then this breaks the plane in both of them. The lighthouse sits on that third and then the sunset, the sunset clouds, they're breaking the plane. They're breaking the vertical planes here. And so mm -hmm. it's got a great balance due to all of this. Yeah, yeah. And the texture on the water is just fantastic. Mm. I mean, he was there just the right time where it was nice and calm, but yet you still get that nice watery effect. Um, and that's nothing he had control over. You know, obviously composition he had full control over for the most part, but... Um, just timing wise, you know, he was, he, he lucked out timing wise, not to have the water being too disturbed and to really capture that glow, of uh, the sunset reflecting in the lighthouse reflecting the water just, is just marvelous. Yeah. <laughs> and one element that we don't talk often about are shapes, consistent mm -hmm. patterns of shapes. And in this image, we have these shapes. You can see them here. You can see them in the clouds. You can see them in the ripples. And so these, these shapes are consistent and balanced. And because of that shape of line right here in between, Brendan mentioned it very, very first. This could have been a pretty redundant feature. Yeah, if it was all one color. All one color, yeah. boring. Yeah. But he has the double colors being featured. And he didn't put his tripod in a position where this line was now right in the center. He put it below. So you're looking mm -hmm. up and growing from the red rock into, I guess, red rock growing into the gray rock. And you have that line and you have a counter line, a counter shape of that shape. And it's just, it's very well balanced, very well thought out due to the color, the shape, the boundaries that are in this image and drawing more with, you talked about the texture of the water. I, I can't talk enough about the texture of the water and how a simple sunset gets doubled mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. because of that water reflecting. Right. Yeah. I mean, just... <laughs> I just wish I was there. I wish I, I was know. there. And I wish I was uh, getting that shot next to him because that's what made me envious about this picture. Any last compositional thoughts or bonus points for what's awesome about this? <sighs> just that also the glow that's happening around mm. the image. I mean, the sunset was so bright. You could see that glow, which gives you that nice soft feeling yeah. at the top of the image. And then that harsh, you know, they get the balance of the harsh water reflected that doesn't have, have that glow. It's it very an interesting, interesting point. Yeah. I like that point because you have an element of harsh rock down here and then in focus rock here mm -hmm. and then an element of softness up here. Right. And further complementing juxtaposition yeah. of both of those is fantastic and if it had been harsh and sharp up here, it actually would have been jarring compared to being that nice soft. Yeah. They yeah. seem like, oh, those are really comfy rocks and not just a jarring pile of 
crappy rocks. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a fantastic image. Absolutely. Stanley, awesome job on this shot, man. I mean, you have a lot of great weather shots. And then here we were just taken to another place that now we go, okay, I want to go out there. And if I ever am at this lighthouse, because of your composition, I'm going to want to stand right here too. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go anywhere else, but appreciate this image the same way you created it. Because it's well done, well balanced, uh, fantastic. Yeah. Good job, Stanley. Thanks, Stanley. And if you guys are interested in being in the next Moment of Envy, check out our Facebook group. We'll see you guys there. See you guys. We're out here abandoned Oregon. This place is beautiful. We have rocks galore, trees everywhere. And wind galore. <laughs> wind galore.